and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you have episode four of Book Buying Bingo. Now, this is coming a little earlier than usual. It has been about a little over three weeks since I did it last, but I'm filming this a day and a half before I leave for New York. And I seem to enjoy self-sabotage because I wanted to earn lots and lots of tokens for the Strand. I'm probably going to end up buying more books than I have tokens, but it is what it is because I keep getting books. I'll get to that in a moment. Now, I'm going to show you the bingo card, but before I do, because I was doing a specific project, there were a few items on my bingo board that just wouldn't fit and they would have kept me from earning lots of tokens and it wasn't like I was going to go out of my way to do them. So I have pulled them off, but I have saved them because I'm going to put them back on the bingo board once I clear it off. And those are banned books. And it's all because these are new books for the Goodreads Choice Awards that I'm trying to get through. And then pre-1985 release, released in 2019, and on the TBR the longest. Those are not prompts that I could get to with the books that I have. I'm also not going to show the updated board in this video for two reasons. One, I'm out of paper here at my house, so I couldn't print a new board. And two, the new prompts that I printed, I, I left school. So I don't have them to film and get ready for this video now. What you're gonna see on here are the prompts that I have replaced and two other prompts. I did film a little clip of me replacing that and explaining that. Okay, I wanted to film this little update clip. I'm not sure where I'll put it in my uh, Book Bang Bingo episode four, but I have decided to replace two of the prompts because I realized I don't read these things very often and I really don't, they don't really inspire me to really go out of my way to find those things. If they come up, they come up. So those two are anthology and poetry. So I am going to look down in my little basket down there, pick two more and put those on. Okay, so I have grabbed two more. So we have a bookish book and we have a, and we have a C setting. So I think I can definitely work with those. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, it's my game and I realized those weren't good prompts for me to put in the mix anyway, especially since I'm not going out of my way to find books that meet that. So it was really just standing in my way of being able to earn bingos. I'm gonna go line by line. I'm going to mention that uh, I've cleared the board. I'm so excited about that. Now in times in the future, if I ever clear the board within one month, I will give myself an extra token, but because I replaced tokens on this one, not doing that, but I'm gonna go line by line. We have Bought Brand New, When Women Are Dragons, Nature on the Cover, Foul Lady Fortune, Goodreads Choice Award, If You Could See the Sun, Novella. It's technically not a novella, but I'm accounting it as one because it was so short, and that's Bastille versus the Evil Librarians. Includes illustrations. I am using The Ogress and the Orphan for that one. Plenty of illustrations in there. So I just, I just realized I put my two Kelly Barnhill books on the same row. Graphic novel and manga. I did read Alcatoe specifically to fulfill that. One word title, Ravenfall. Asian author, new from here. Uh, second hand, I pulled out a Doctor Who comic specifically for that one. A bookish book, Babel. Not specifically about books, but it's about language. So I'm counting it. Sea setting, Zachary Ying and the Dragon Emperor. Beautiful cover, Belladonna. It's stunning. Free space, person on the cover, girl in white. Strong female character, Lodestar. I mean, Sophie, very strong female character. Book box book. I am choosing The Ballad of Never After because it came from Goldsboro SFF with my other subscription books, even though technically that one was not in a subscription box. The first book was. Fantasy, The Swoven Kingdom. Again, <laughs> I had lots of choices for that one. Debut, I didn't write it down, but that one is All That's Left. I think it's All That's Left or All That's Left From Here. Uh, based on a true story, Electra. Yes, it's based on a Greek myth, but those came from 
true stories. I mean, the Trojan War is a true story. It actually happened. More than five words in the title, Arusha and the Nectar of Immortality. Adapted to TV movie, Rise for the School of Good and Evil. Hand on the cover, I just realized I'd already used Lodestar. So for strong female character, no, for hand on the cover, I am going to choose, see the problem is I don't have a physical copy of the books that I'm reading in the room. I'm gonna choose Thistlefoot because I think even in the, it's not defined, it's not an actual hand, but I'm gonna count it. Uh, science fiction, The City Weepy Game. I consider that a fantasy sci-fi blend. Animal on the cover, Sunbearer Trials, there's a bird on the cover. LGBTQ rep, so this is ever after. So I have cleared the board, which means I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I didn't realize I got that many from clearing the board. I've never done that well before on clearing the board. Okay, let me go count up those tokens and we're gonna talk about the stacks of books that I have here to haul. Okay, before I begin to talk about the tokens that I have earned and assign them to particular books, I am going to talk about the small number of books that I am not going to redeem tokens for. Those are ones that I consider collectible or another reason which I will explain in just a moment. So for the collectible ones, I have the Owl Crate Classics that came in one of the boxes that I got. I forget which month it was, but again, this is not the, this is more of a collector's item than anything else. Speaking of collector's items, we have the Way of Kings set. They just announced their Words of Radiance set. So excited. I love the red color that they've chosen for that one. But anyway, I already have this book and I got this solely for the purpose of collecting. Obviously I wasn't going to count it for two either. So those are the ones that I'm not counting for purpose of collecting. The other one, because I'm going to hold out for whether or not I'm going to keep it based on after I've read it, and I probably will at that point keep only one of them, and that is The Whispering Dark. I do already have a copy of The Whispering Dark. Okay, setting that aside, I am going to go through the Owl Crate books first, and I believe that this video is coming out after the vlog where I haul, I talk about the uh, six books that I got separately from Bookbox Books. It is this current week, the week before I go to New York, but I don't remember the timing that I have for these. Anyway, I'm going to talk about those and then I'm going to talk about the other Bookbox Books. I'm not going to talk long about each of these books, especially the six books that I got that happen to all be middle grade because I talked a lot about them in other videos. I just realized I need to tell you how many tokens I have. So I have the 12 tokens that I just earned from clearing the board. So excited about that. I have six tokens left over from last month. I have six of these tokens, which are earned for every five books read, which means in three and a half weeks, I've read 30 books. Not saying anything about that. And then I have the various ones that I earn for to-do list items. Instead of just giving you a summary, I'm gonna talk about each one. I have earned two for meeting my goals every day for seven days in a row. I could potentially earn one more, which I will talk about in my New York vlog if I do for this current week. This is to help keep me on track with meeting my goals. Then I earned one for finally updating all my reviews. I was a good 10, 15 books behind and I needed to get motivated to get caught up and stay on track with those. These are all tokens that I'm giving to myself to motivate building good habits with certain things. Then I have three for earning, for starting my to-do list right away when I get home instead of sitting around and waiting and wasting time. I've talked about how much of that has been an issue for me. I earned this one for finally catching up on my finances. I hadn't done any of that stuff for three weeks and I needed to do it. So I'm like, I need tokens for New York. So that's how I motivated myself. Then I earned another token for 50 minutes of writing. I'm trying to get caught up on my backlog from when I fell out of the habit because I want to get back more into writing. 
So I have been writing every day, but those that that was above the 10 minutes per day. And then I have earned three tickets for reading every day in Spanish because I don't want to fall behind on that goal again. So let me total all that up. I didn't count those. So I have 35 tokens. I'm really excited about that. Now I'm also going to bring along some of these tokens because I'm going to leave open the possibility of catching up more on my writing and earning some tokens that way. And also I'm going to bring along some of these because we have a long train ride up there. Yes, we are taking the train and I may finish several books along the way. So without further ado, here are all the books that I've hauled. And we're going to start with the three books that I have from Owl Crate. Remember one, I am not redeeming a ticket for. First of those we have is Jade Fire Gold, redeeming a token. Then we have The Depths, redeeming a token. Then we have Dreams Lie Beneath, redeeming a token. And I'm gonna go slightly out of order because I just think it's fitting. We also have A Fire Endless by the same author as Dreams Lie Beneath. That was a special edition book that I purchased. Then we have these six middle grades books that I purchased from Owl Crate on Black Friday, their Black Friday weekend of deals. We have the Strange Worlds Travel Agency, A Rover's Story, The Barren Grounds, A Comb of Wishes, Cece Rios and the Desert of Souls, Kiki Kalira Breaks the Kingdom. So there are all of the Owl Crate related books. I'm going to slide that stack over. There's only one book that I purchased outside of Owl Crate and Book Box books, and that is Echo North, one of my top 10 books this year. It arrived today, a few days late for my top 10 video. Next we have Book Box books, and I'm going to start with the first of those that I received this month. And that is my Imaginary Mary from Lit Joy Crate. And then we have my Book of the Month books. We have Ariadne, Take My Hand, Spells for Forgetting. And then we have my comic subscription, which I saw actually was nominated for, a good, for the Goodreads Choice Award, and that is Thieves. Second to last, we have Rise, a pop history of Asian America. I took off the small dust jacket. This is the loan book that survived the TBR, Tailored Book Recommendations haul. Not so happy with them, but I might give them another chance. And lastly, we have Fairy Loot for November, and that is The Ones We Burn. All right, so that means I'm gonna count these up and I'm gonna see what we're gonna have going to New York. Am I gonna still try to earn some more tokens between now and to New York, which is a day and a half away, 36 hours? Yes, probably. Okay, if I counted correctly, that means I have 16 tokens. That means I can buy 16 books while in New York. I just, I have a lot of books on my list. I don't know if this is going to be enough, we shall see. I might have to play an emergency round of book buying bingo, maybe a New York edition to see if I can manage to earn some more tokens. And like I mentioned, I'm going to end the video here because I need to print a new board, need to get all of the new prompts from my classroom because I have only this many left. There's like five of them. So I need to get some more prompts. I'm going to fill up this board. I have edited my prompts list to put a few new ones on there to get a few ones out that didn't really fit all that well. We shall see going forward how this continues to help because it doesn't seem to be helping me restrain my book buying. At least I'm not keeping that in mind. I might have to switch a few things up in regards to that. But thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.